Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, what city are we in? Lake Wales. Lake Wales, Florida. And I, this is this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm at the Mold-O-Matic, is it a, the, not a factory, but the shop. The, the, the central point of the Mold-O-Matic product. And would you introduce, introduce yourself, sir? I'm Tim Strigo. I am the owner of Unique Souvenirs, which operates Mold-O-Matic machines around the United States. Awesome. So this is this is the, your base of operations where you work on machines, yes. create machines. Awesome, awesome. We also got Eric Erickson here, who has sculpted some of the mold ramas himself. And so we're going to we're going to take a look around your shop. All right, follow me. These are two machines I did for Sun Valley, Idaho. They were out there for the 100 year anniversary of Sinclair. That's got the original, yeah. original Sinclair dinosaur right there. And this one's actually, this has got the naked mole rat in it right now. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there we go. Now you get the to keep that one shake up. You made it. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> So these are some of the, the molds that are used to make metal molds. Is this the original uh, Wonderworks yes, mold? Yep. I made oh, that. Oh, that's cool. And that's the original arches for the Science Center in Seattle. I made that. <laughs> Did you make all these? Both of those two. My grandfather made the snowman. Yeah, check that out. His grandfather. My grandpa made the snowman. What's his mold. name? Elvin Irwin. And we got a full body he Frankenstein. Was out of, uh, Michigan. Michigan. Michigan, at the Michigan. Michigan. And what do we got here? This is. That's the space capsule. That's the original 62 space capsule from Seattle from the World's Fair. And who's it's this different. guy? Muddy the Mud Hen. He loves that one. Muddy the Mud Hen, where's he from? Toledo, Ohio. He's got the original mo um, model for that, too. My grandfather made that one, too. The Big E Exposition in Massachusetts. Oh, I thought that was Enron for a second. That's the Carolina Snowball. That's the Carolina Snowball. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't have that one. This was from Miami Seaquarium for a long time. Okay. They found this. It was a white dolphin they found off the coast of uh, South Carolina. Oh, you said these are the originals from the 1964 World's Fair. Oh, wow. Sinclair. Look how beautiful they're massive. They are. They're massive. And detailed. Beautiful. That's, cra yeah, that's crazy detail in there. That's the Ankylosaurus. I was 12 when I went and I bought all of them yeah. for a quarter apiece. Oh yeah, there you go. He's looking the other way. Can you believe it? Look at this. And there's the other half. This is amazing. Feel the weight of that. Yeah, that is, that is a heavy piece of machinery. These barely fit on the machines. Really? Strain the machines. And it's the it's, same machine, right? It barely fits on the machines that they had to do. They had to modify the scraper. They pushed the... Oh, it wasn't scraper. wasn't big enough. Wider, it down. They made it wider. They made it shorter. They had to shorten it. All right, now correct me if I'm wrong. Now these, every single machine here is an antique in and of itself, right? Yes. When is the last time that they produced, actually made new machines? Was the 60s? 60s. Late 60s. 60s. So every, every time you see one of these, it is a living, working antique. The first... Water skier, clown skier, cowboys, constellations, space rail. Inco watchdog. Oh, the muddy. Oh, you yeah, have Koopy, Koopy, Koopy dolls. Yep. Look at the size of these. That's the so that's the massive giant Mickey. I have a Mickey, but yeah, it's nothing like that. And that was uh, from. It's a small world, right? In the fair, did Pretty they sure. have it in the fair? Pretty sure. All right, some rare footage of the inner workings. Of the Moldorama. Look at that. All analog, all vintage technology. There's cams, so they are on the other side. They're on the other side. These are the cams that do the sequencing of the thing. Okay. Now, that does the timing. Where's the button? Watch okay. It. Check it out. That's turning. 
almost like works like a like a watch or a clock. Oh, there's a mole rat. <laughs> Look at this box after box of mold aromas. <laughs> this these are is historic. insane. These historic. are things you haven't seen for years. Out of print moldoramas. Yep. From those molds we saw on the shelf. Oh, wow. You'll find stuff in there you won't believe. Look, he's still going. Look at that. There's a pirate. Moldorama pirate. Oh, here's Chipper the Cloud, a whole box of them. Chipper the Cloud. What we got there. Is that a is that a donkey? Uh, what kind of car is that? Oh, that's that uh, Omnicar. That's, that's, that's a Messerschmitt. A Messerschmitt? That's a Messerschmitt? That's a Messerschmitt. I thought it was that. Say that uh, three times. That's a Messerschmitt. Look at that. We got a little clown. Is that Corky? No. No, that's the clown from Main Street, Florida. That's from this turnpike. There's Peter Pan. Oh, 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 screwing oh, around oh. the one day. 69, Peter? That tiny little oh. chimpanzee. It's that snowman mold we saw earlier. Yeah, I have a Santa Claus, but it's a different you got the small one. mold than that, yeah. Well, you got the, well me, and, me and the guy in Chicago made the, the smaller one together. And then the angel, this, thing, this is another one my grandfather made. Angel. And the pumpkin. <laughs> oh, and this space shuttle. What's that big, giant one right there? Stingray. Oh yeah, look at that stingray, that's huge. And he made the tiger too, my grandfather did. Oh yeah. At one time my grandfather made probably about 20 molds for one. Has this been painted? Yeah. This Mickey's actually been... That's what we did when we were kids. Got a coat of paint. That's what we did with kids when we were kids with my grandparents. He used to paint the mold around us? molds with them. <laughs> Because he, uh, my grandfather always put painted ones in the display windows. Moldorama, original Moldorama company, originally had paint kits. They sold paint kits for these things. Did they vend them? They vended them out of a vending machine. Next to the Moldorama? Yep. Look at that pirate ship right there. It's the Constellation. Constellation? What's the Constellation? The Constellation is this uh, tall ship. Yeah. It goes with the bounty. Okay. A pink robot there. He got you in Venture Land, too, there. Oh. Sea turtle. Now were these these little cards were these at the Microcar Museum in Georgia? Yeah. Okay. There's near Athens. There's Griffith Park Pony Ride Cowboy. The land by sitting by that carousel and watching. There's his kids FDR. Go around there. Oh, this is... oh, look at that painted Cupid doll. What's that? Pioneer City. Pioneer City. Where's that? Where was Pioneer City at? I don't know where it was at. <laughs> Where the old west comes home, or comes alive, rather. From the World's Fair, right? Yep. So that would have been the Disney castle that was put on top of the machine. Put on top of the machine is a topper. Awesome. Is that where they had Flipper? On yes, the... it was. That's the original Flipper. Was filmed. Right? We're at the Miami Seaquarium. Miami and then that is. That's just the generic, generic one. Everybody Make your own up. souvenir. And that is the original Grauman's Chinese Theater. They used to have a Moldorama right next to the theater. Check that out. And this is ooh, Empire State Building. It's so cool. Look at that. That's nice. And what else? The, oh, Eiffel, the Tower. Eiffel Tower. Is that the St. Louis Arch? I've never seen that one. That is so cool. So you want to tell people where they can find some of your work? Uh, Tampa, Florida, Bush Gardens, Larry Park, uh, not Larry Park, Zoo, but Central Florida Zoo, Gatorland, Zoo Miami, Knoxville Zoo, Oklahoma City Zoo, and Toledo Zoo. Awesome. All right, so you're telling me that you personally and your son-in-law maintain all these machines in person. You collect the money, fill them with plastic, do any sort of... Breakdown or maintenance? Maintenance, repairs, any of the stuff that needs done to them, rebuild them. Everything that needs done to them, me and my son love. So the whole, the whole Moldomatic Empire is a two man operation. Is your route every week? It goes every week. Every, every week? week you, go you don't go to Oklahoma City every week, do you? No, 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 no. It's once every probably two months. All right. Do you go to Miami every week? 
go to Miami every week. Wow. Bush Gardens usually in there two, three times a week. Two or three times. And Central Florida Zoo once About a week? Once a week everywhere. All right, so it was a huge deal for me to be invited to the Moldomatic Warehouse. I'm a huge collector and fan of the mold style toys. And just to make something clear, uh, if you notice, we're using the term Moldomatic in this video, not Moldorama. Um, Moldomatic used to be part of the Moldorama company. Kind of how it works was at one point there was a uh, one Moldorama company, but it split um, into regions. So um, certain, one region would be serviced by one company and another region would be serviced by another. Uh, these kind of broke off from the main company. Um, currently, there's only two regions left. There is the Moldorama Corporation, which generally run, it runs out of Chicago and a lot of the Midwest. And then um, the Moldomatic Company, which I visited today, is uh, centered out of Florida. And that does, floor, does almost all of Florida. And it's branched out quite a bit, too, doing other further parts of the country. They even uh, did machines in Seattle for a while. So Tim was servicing machines in Seattle from his home base in Florida. And he only has one employee. But the real exciting thing is, uh, after letting me dig through the pile of antique Moldoramas, um, Tim let me pick out what I didn't have and gave me a very generous deal. So let's take a look at what I got. This one's a little weathered, so I think it could be could be an older one. And it says the United States Space Lab. So that is a Moldorama. And this thing's huge. Look at that. Washington, D.C. Capitol Building. And this old plastic is, and this is probably from the, the 60s. And this plastic is, you can just see it has a different look to it, a different style. And look at this, that's a bowling trophy. I don't know if there was a special mold made to commemorate the bowling trophy or if this was how they made bowling trophies on a budget. Now this, is a, this is a unique custom. It says Mom and Caden on the bottom. Uh, Tim actually made this specially for um, when his daughter was born. This one's from the Oklahoma Zoo. We got an angry green bear. Wow! Another one of those bowling trophies. And the ones, they told me the ones that are these colors actually glow in the dark. So we got some glow in the dark moldoramas here. It's camels from the Metro Zoo. I'm not sure what city that is. Here's the Zoo Squad from the Miami Zoo. Eric actually carved this one. This is the, the mascots from the zoo in Miami. This is completely double-sided. You got a alligator on that side and a rhino and a that's a giraffe right there. Now I was really disappointed when I went to Seattle. Everyone told me they had uh, two moldomatic machines at the Pacific Science Center. They didn't have them when I went by, but I got my hands on them anyways because Tim had the machines. Now here is the naked mole rat. This is another one of Eric's creations and then there is a mold of the Pacific Science Center itself okay this is possibly the most confusing moldorama it's like these other bowling trophy style ones but it says in memory a fine boulder a fine bowler so I don't know if this is like a commemorative was it someone maybe set up a moldorama at a funeral a custom moldorama this one's pretty interesting. I couldn't even figure out what this was at first until it was explained to me. This is uh, from Silver Springs, Florida. That is a glass bottom boat with the little people looking out the side there. This is one of my favorites here from Cypress Gardens. It's Corky, the water skiing clown. This is the St. Pete Beach Aquatorium. We got this big marlin. Now here's something I didn't didn't think I would I would find. These are Moldorama trolls. Trolls. Why why do you have such a big gap in your teeth? Your content is so cringy. You need to lose some weight. All right, so I have the beginnings of the National Moldorama Museum. I think. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, please check down below. 
Uh, I have other videos where I go and seek out Moldoramas. You can check those out as well as other locations I visited. If you'd like to contribute, I sell t-shirts. And also if you donate at least $3 a month on Patreon, I'll send you postcards as I travel on my journey. Journeys. But for now, this one's in the bag.